Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to activate the Create Audit Fields feature and how to grant a user access to this feature by using a permission set. Salesforce has several fields, known as audit fields, that contain information about when a record was created, by which user, and when it was last modified. When you do an import, these values default to the values at the time of import. For example, if you import an old record that was actually created in 2015, it will show as created on the date you do the import. In addition, you might want to give users permission to update the record owner field if the owner listed has become inactive. However, you can enable the audit fields, which allows you to change the values in the following fields. Created date, created by, last modified date, last modified by. It's important to note that the audit fields cannot be changed once the data is imported into Salesforce. So please ensure that these are enabled before doing data import in your organization if you need the original values in these fields. System administrators can enable the Create Audit Fields feature by granting the organization-wide Set Audit Fields Upon Record Creation and Update Records with Inactive Owners User Permissions. In Salesforce Lightning and Salesforce Classic, the steps to enable it are slightly different. So we'll start by showing you in Lightning, followed by Classic. In Lightning, click the gear icon in the upper right hand of the screen. Click Setup. Go to the User Interface section, and then select the User Interface menu. Select the checkbox for Enable Set Audit Fields Upon Record Creation and Update Records with an Active Owner's User Permissions. Click Save. In Salesforce Classic, click on Setup, go to the Customize section, and then select the User Interface. Select the checkbox for Enable Set Audit Fields Upon Record Creation and Update Records with Inactive Owners User Permissions. Click Save. Once this feature is enabled, depending on your requirements, you need to enable the following permissions on the custom profiles. Set audit fields upon record creation and update records with inactive owners. The first permission allows the user to set audit fields when a record is created via API importing tools like Data Loader. The second permission allows users to update existing records that are owned by inactive users. As the standard profiles cannot be edited, you need to create and assign a permission set in order to grant this access to any users that are assigned to standard profiles. To create a permission set, go to Setup. In the Quick Find, search for Permission Sets. Click New. Enter the name of the permission set. Under System Permissions, Grant either of the two permissions, set audit fields upon creation, and or update records with inactive owners. Click Save. Click Manage Assignments, then Add Assignment. Select the user who you want to grant this access to and click on Assign, and you're done. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.